It's a really good week. I'd definitely recommend doing Grand Challenges. It's engaging and you get to interact with other students from different subjects and see kind of what their views bring. And ultimately that made a really diverse group of people working together to come up with some really innovative solutions. You get to follow your passion and work on a project which you are really passionate about. Hi, my name's Dan Beber. I'm a senior lecturer in microbial ecology at the Biosciences Department at Exeter. I'm one of the academic leads on the Food for Thought Grand Challenge. My name's Dr Natalia Lawrence and I'm a senior lecturer in psychology and I'm also one of the academic leads for the Food for Thought Grand Challenge. By 2050, we're going to have to feed an extra 3 billion people sustainably without wrecking the planet and we need your help to decide how to do it. Currently, humanity uses about half of the world's land service to produce food and that's had a huge impact on global biodiversity and ecosystem services. The choices we make as individuals have a massive impact on the global scale. So our grand challenge really takes a multidisciplinary perspective on the issue of food and the choices we make. We're really going to explore what drives people's food choices, what are the choices that we should all be making to try and have a more sustainable and fairer food system. To try and tackle some of these major issues, we're going to organise ourselves into a number of working groups. Those will include things like food printing, which is understanding how different food choices affect things like the carbon footprint, the water footprint, the environmental footprint. We're going to be thinking about uh, local food. And also to help support your work during the week, you'll be hearing from a range of experts. So we'll have people from local public health talking about what changes we should make to our diet for health improvement. Um, we'll be hearing from people from industry and from third sector organisations and hopefully we'll be hearing from some of the food producers, the farmers and also the shops that sell our food about what drives their strategy and what changes they think are important. We've been working on an app which is basically engaging individuals' food choices with the wider global impact. So please come and join us for this year's Food for Thought Grand Challenge. Definitely go for it, you're not going to regret it at all and you never really know where it may lead, what it might inspire you to do or the people you might meet. Last year we were really impressed with the energy, the ideas, the teamwork um, and all the different areas that people applied their ideas to. So please come and help us make it even better this year.